everyone, and welcome back to the Pokemon TCGO. Um, today we're kind of just going to keep playing along, going through these daily challenges. Um, yeah, just kind of chilling. Pokemon TCGO and chill, as the title says on Twitch. Um, yeah, just thanks for watching. Um, plan, for stream, plan to stream for maybe an hour, an hour and a half. That's what I usually want to do. Um, but yeah, just hopefully we'll get some good pools, as you can see. Figure out how to edit text down the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. But, um, yeah, just kind of chilling. Um, I guess we're just going to start with some verses. Hopefully get a couple win streaks going. Um, maybe get a couple pack openings. And save up coins for Celestial Storm when it comes out. I'm thinking of doing that. But as always, Tails never fails, so I'm going to go with Tails. And, yeah. No. Hold up. Hey, Corbin, what's up? How's you? get the uh, chat and stuff up on my phone. Because if so, you should drop that follow. this wind streak alive. Awesome, we get to start with Zygarde again. Alrighty. 
I um, figured everything out on my phone, so let's start paying more attention now. Cool. I didn't see what deck he has a fairy deck, it looks like. Um, so this should be pretty easy, especially since we have the double colorless right here. Should be an easy start. Unless he gets some of these energy evolutions off and gets some GX or EX evolu evolutions. But it should at least give me time to build up Zagard and be able to sweep, hopefully. Ooh, um. Hopefully, these aren't that much of a problem. I don't think they should be. Xerneas isn't really that much of a threat. Gardevoir EX can be Luminous Blade, I mean 120 damage is a lot of damage, but with the discard and energy that can be devastating for him. Obviously there's no valid cards in the discard pile, but it doesn't really matter since we start just starting off. Can't really do anything to me at all. Geomancy. Um, this could be kind of annoying, because he's just going to be able to pile on fairy energies for a couple turns onto his bench. Whenever we get Verdict GX set up, we'll be fine. Because no one will be able to touch us and we'll just be able to sweep. Hmm. Hopefully we can get a bit of a streak going so we can get some of these versus rewards. I really want those five packs before they disappear. I think it's like seven days left though, so we should be good. Ooh, Sylveon GX. That's pretty good, I think. Eh. It's not actually that great. It's not that much of a threat. As long as we keep our Xerneas out here, he doesn't do any kind of Lissander tricks. Don't think I'm going to use this yet. Ooh, I didn't even realize that it evolved into Mega Gardevoir. Yeah, I actually am going to use this now. So that way he won't be able to attack with this unless he has a double colorless next turn. And with him having one card, I'm not really too worried about that. Either way, I think we're just going to land Wrath right now, because... Most he could do is 110. 120, I guess, or 100. I don't know. I don't think he can kill me. Um, yeah, he's definitely struggling with the energies, so I think we go ahead and just take this one pretty easy. I'm gonna start building up Regirock, but actually... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go ahead and Verdict GX right now. He can't do any damage to me next turn anyway. If he wants to keep building this up, that's fine with me. It's dying. 
Well, we got oh, a sander for ourselves. Um, just go ahead and keep building up Reggie Rock. And go home Land's Wrath. Scared the Mega Gardevoir. to do tournaments if I want. I'm not sure. I think we're just going to wait this win streak out and then go ahead and do a tournament maybe. Um, go ahead and change this. Update the wins losses. Can we go undefeated? Doubt it. I think my longest ever win streak is like four or something like that. But... We'll see. Maybe tonight's the night. We won, so I would like to go first. What's behind this dude? I've never seen that before. I never noticed it anyway. I think we're gonna go ahead and start with the top of the building. So hopefully we can get an early sweep. It's easy to set up. Might as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like he has much going for him. What's this? Does it let him get energies or something? Yeah. Let's go ahead and get the Diancy. Actually, no, I would rather have Zagard than Lucario. So go ahead and put that on the bench so all of our ground attacks do 20 more damage, even though it doesn't really help all that much right now. Uh, we don't need to Crushing Hammer because he's going to die if we just don't, so. sure exactly what he wants to do. But we'll, we shall see. Thunderous. Eh, that's not much of a threat. I don't really run tool cards in this deck. And Lightning Slam, with having that recharge turn, isn't going to be a threat at all. Um, I'm too bad we can't actually take him out this turn. So I'm going to make sure I get energies on Zygarde. So he's set up enough, so if, Dianse, if something happens to Diancy, we can go ahead and put Zygarde in and do whatever we need to do with him. Shinx, if he gets up to Lux Ray, is weak to ground, so that's cool. Along with the Magnemite and Thunderous. So, yeah, his whole deck is pretty much weak to ground. Uh, we don't have the Dare Duo, so that kind of sucks, because if we did, I would be able to switch up to Zygarde right now. Oh well. I could tr retreat if I really wanted to, but I'll go ahead and get stuff real quick. I'll wait until we get a couple more energies, so that way we can at least get up to Land's Wrath. 
even though we don't need that because right now to everything on the field he's doing 140 damage because plus this 20 so honestly I could retreat into him and be able to get this over a lot quicker don't know what ability this is that doesn't matter anymore that's kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't- oh, we got the Dodo L. It's really lucky. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and retreat into Zygarde. I don't see a problem in doing this. And I don't need to Crushing Hammer. I'm just gonna Cell Connector, and I think that works. Get an extra energy. The one we just retreated with. Oh, I got the Lysander again. <sighs> this is such a great card. Really helps the late game, especially if you're down. Intimidating Fang. I don't know if that's going to be enough. That will be enough to protect him from dying this turn at least. Um, I don't know who he's going to try to kill. That's not a good deal though. I don't care about that Tapu Lele anymore. That is like the least threatening thing. Really to him. Because... Now I think he gets swept. Especially since we got this energy what we needed. We can go ahead and land that. And the ground on. It's really not a great card. I'm really considering taking it out of this deck, like especially when I get something anywhere close to better. Because it is hard to set up. Rock Smash is a pretty terrible move. Break ground is okay, but like, there's no real reason to use it over a Zygarde or any of my other EXs or GXs in this deck. Um, might as well attach the synergy to Diancy. It doesn't really matter. We have a daily challenge done with this game too, because we've done a lot of damage. That's really good. Yeah, he's just gonna let us kill him. Thanks, man. Appreciate you. That's three in a row. Well, we're off to a fast and good start to this game so far. To this stream, I should say. 1,180 damage. That should definitely be enough. Or maybe it's not damage that we need. Do we actually need evolution cards? Yeah, we actually need evolution cards, not damage. These two are damage. I'm dumb. Um, either way, I get to change this again. Can we get to five? Break my all-time record? I think. I don't think I've ever had a five-game win streak. That's kind of crazy. This is really helping us get to those 600 coins, though. Which, I think if we get those... Oh, he has the advantage, so... This might be the game that we lose, but... I don't actually know if I'm going to spin those at all until Celestial Storm, because I want a bunch of Celestial Storm cards when they come out.
I don't know where he got this coin from. I don't know what deck or whatever that is. I know it's a Metagross, but... first. Ooh, this is not nearly as good of a start as we've had so far. We might be in trouble here. I think this is where the streak is going to end, unless he got some really bad pulls too, but I don't know. It's not looking good. Can we pull off the cast form sweep? It's possible. Not plausible. Man, this guy takes a while to uh, take his turns, that's for sure. Yeah, and he's leading with the Pidgeot GX, or EX, I should say. Mirror move, not that big of a deal. Feather Lance, could be a big of deal. Could be a big deal if we don't get anything on the bench. Um, well, the only thing we can do is put energy on cast form. Don't need that yet. Fighting Stadium, I haven't really gotten to use all that much. I just put it in because might as well. It's more there for the Bonnie card than anything else. Don't know what this guy's possibly thinking about. You either have energy or you don't. Come on, my dude. Oh, he apparently doesn't have energy? Question mark? Hmm. Well, maybe Cast Form can pull this off. Or maybe that's speaking a little too soon, but I can't imagine he doesn't have any energy. Hopefully we can get the, uh, Binnacle or Ryolu. He must not have any RNG, or- oh, we did get the Binnacle, how? That's really unlikely, but... I will take it. Even if he doesn't have any energy, there's no way he also doesn't have any basic moms. confusion as to what this guy has in his hand. I guess not anything. Well that was easy cast from the I don't think that's ever happened before. This is really insane terrifying. Four win streak. Tied my 
pretty, well, tied my record. I'm kind of shocked right now. I don't know what's happening. Ooh, this guy has a water deck, water and steel, that doesn't fare well for our ground types. Although most of them are weak to grass and not water, so it's not that big of a deal. And we have a pretty good start, again. Um, I only have one energy though, and that could be a problem. If we don't get another one in the next two turns. Let's wait and see what he leads with to see what I want to put on my bench. Alolan Sandshrew. Okay. Cool, this is helpful. This helps both of us, it looks like. Hopefully, we really need to pull another energy. Hopefully we'll get a double colorless. Double car double colorless right now would be huge. He's actually trying to set up this little in Sandshrew, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and put the Diancy on our bench. And I guess hope for an energy next turn. If not, we're in trouble. What is that? Why did he just take damage? This card provides every type of energy, but only one energy at a time when you're trying to come from your hand. That doesn't seem worth it. Okay, cool. We did get this extra energy before he got to set anything up. Um, might as well use this and pull the binnacle. That way we can evolve next turn and help with that daily challenge. But this is going to take out the center. And he has no energy left on his bench. We need to take care of this Alolan Vulpix before he can get the Nine Tails out. Because that's annoying. It's one of the most annoying cards in the whole thing, in my opinion. This doesn't look like... Seismitoad isn't that big of a deal, it doesn't look like. Uh, that's annoying. Luckily we have a switch. So we'll just be able to bring Zygarde right back out, if we want, which I think we do want to. Um, we can go ahead and evolve him first, and switch into Zygarde. And I think now's the time to play the Fighting Stadium, because that means a Cell Connector is going to do a lot of damage to this guy. Nine. Yeah. So. If he doesn't do anything next turn, then we'll be able to take him out. Evo Soda. Ah, uh, he brought out the Alpha Soda. That's annoying. That means we're going to have to retreat into someone else in order to take that thing out. But we're really struggling for energies right now. So that might not be in the cards. Maybe he'll switch... I saw I just got a Lysander. Maybe he'll switch for me. Okay, we got another energy. Um, that means we'll at least be able to take out a Seismitoad this turn. Hmm. 
I'm considering... No, I have to use this energy on Zygarde, because I'll have to retreat at some point. Next turn, I'll have to retreat. But hopefully I get some energies from this. From these two prize cards that I'll get. Uh, Tierno will be- oh, Tierno will be in trouble. He should, anyway. Unless they're all literally at the bottom of my deck. Yeah, and we'll be able to retreat this turn. Pokemon Fan Club. Um, I need to use Tierno. Got one energy, that's it. Hmm. Um, I can't go out in a timber. Because he'll kill me next turn with an Aurora Beam. Regirock, kind of pointless, but he does 110 damage. So actually, we are... This is what we're going to do. We're going to start setting up Regirock. And we are going to retreat into Timber. Because I'm fine with stacking him off so that we can get the one hit kill with the Reggie Rock. Uh oh. Yep, never mind. He called out that time. Hmm. Well. Maybe. We got the EXP share. I think Diancy is the next thing we have to hope for. Oh, we can do the Fisherman. I completely forgot that we had him. It only gets us three out of the four that we could get, so not getting the full... Not getting what we fully could get. I'm dumb. I really should set up the... Bar I should have set up the Barbarical instead. that would have killed. I guess it's not too late. We can still set him up. But it'll take a couple losses in the meantime. I have an extra timber though. The best thing to do here is, I think we might as well Pokemon Center Lady, Zygarde, so he's kinda ready. Um, if we need him. I'm not really positive that we'll need him, because next turn our Barbarical, unless he gets something on the bench. Yeah, he's going to. But Barbarical with Diancie on the bench should be able to s pretty come pretty close to sweeping. This is going to be annoying, because it resists my attacks. Rocket Fall is actually going to do a lot to Barbarical. I don't know if he'll be able to get it set up, though. I don't actually think he's going to be able to. Claw Slash, Claw out, or Nine Tails. Yeah, he's definitely not going to be able to get this thing set up in time. I hope not. I'm not going to put my other Zygarde on the bench just yet. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, no. He might get, be able to get this set up in time. But even if he does, then we'll just be able to go off to Zygarde. Oh my god, he has another roll of nine tails. And a Pokemon Center, lady. Hmm. Well, that double color also is really convenient. And if, as long as we just keep getting damage off, then I think we should be good. This one might be close. But all we have to do is take this out, actually, because we only have two prize cards left. Yeah, I think we're good. He can't get this Ninetales out. And he's out of energies, so... I think we got this one in the bag. Unless he pulls out like a switch or something, but even then, we kill him next turn. So... I think we might... Actually, I'm not gonna say it yet. I'm not gonna say it yet. Yeah, unless you pull something like that out. Um. Retreat cost. Actually, no, I'm just gonna go out in the Zygarde. He's set up. And then I can just retreat with him next turn back into. What? I don't. He's gonna die. Oh man, that was close. I didn't actually read what that attack does. But, oh yeah, wait. Uh, might as well Pokemon Center Lady. And... I think we use Verdict GX. It's, it's a double card on this or something on this. I don't know. I don't think there's anything you can do. There's no reason not to use that. Yeah, so this turn we can just retreat, and go ahead and kill him. Hopefully. That's exactly what we're going to do. there yet. We need one more fighting evolution. And we can change to 5-0. and oh. I guess let's just keep going. Guess psychic and dark, so might be a little bit of a problem. Hopefully not though. Terrible start again. Definitely could have been better. Oh man, this guy has world championship deck? Kind of scary. I don't know where he would have gotten that at. Um, but either way, we're gonna just set up Timber. And if he doesn't get anything on the bench before we get three energies, then we win. But I bet he will. Three energies is a lot of energies for a start. 
What is this? Teeter punch. Darn, that's gonna be annoying. Considering actually just Pokemon Center loading right now, um, don't see a reason not to. Other than wasting Pokemon Center loading, but might as well because we need to get the damage off for sure. And I definitely don't want him to kill me next turn. I don't even need three energies up. He doesn't get something on the bench this turn or find a way to kill me, then he dies. Actually, no, he dies either even if he kills me, because Lucario. Okay, so is that six? Um I think so. But I think we just retreat. And missile jab. And I think that's six in a row. This is the luckiest I've gotten playing against people for ever. Sure. Can we get it up to 10? Doubt it. Doubt it. That's very unlikely. But we're over halfway there. Ooh, this is a good start with the Zygarde and Diancie. It's great. Man, Diancie is so nice in a deck with like this. So, so nice. Um, he's leading with the Necrozma GX. Um, lights in, doesn't matter at all. Prismatic Burst. I don't know. I think I kill him before he be is able to use that, really. And then Black Ray GX isn't that great of a card. So yeah, I th think we should be good against the Necrozma. Mysterious treasure. Hmm. So he did get a double colorless, which is unfortunate because that he's going to be able to attack me for a lot, but I don't think enough. I hope not enough. Because we only need two more energies in two turns this Necrozma dies. Toxapex GX. I think this is a good card. You got Total Shelter GX. It's a good, great move. Super intense poison. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, that's insane. We definitely need to save a Pokemon Center Lady, which we just got for whenever that thing comes out. Um, but we did get a double colorless, so. Just lands Wrath and kill this. And get another double colorless. And then next turn, I think all we do is Verdict GX. I didn't actually see what Spike Cannon does. It almost kills me, that's what it does. 
but I think either way, ooh, um, no, I don't want to do that. I think I'm going to start setting up this Lucario. Might as well go to the right now. If he poisons me, I think that still kills me. But there's nothing we can do, do about that anyway. If he wants to turtle shelter GX, that's actually kind of annoying too. Oh, he did sort of So yeah, Zagard's gone, but there's not much we could have done about that, even if we Pokemon Center related last turn. I would rather him do that than total shelter, because now Lucario kills him. Um, we don't need that in play. Huge threat. And we got 20 damage off on the Sigilyph, and so if he doesn't get anything on the bench, uh, we kill him. Unless, no, he can't kill me. Safeguard is a really good ability. But luckily, we don't have an EX out. What is this? New 2 EX. Photon wave, eh, it's not that problem, but Cyburn is powerful. We need to make sure we deal with this fast. We need something else out. We need a Lucario, we need to get another Zygarde, we need something. What is this? We also need to deal with this, because Psychic is kind of devastating. Divide GX isn't great. Um... Crushing Hammer. Didn't get it. Figures. Um, ben. We're gonna start setting up the binnacle, at least. And start taking care of this Espeon. This Espeon can do a lot of damage to us. It knocks us out in two turns, actually. Just realized. Unless he gets a double colorless, then he, we're gone this turn. Uh-oh. Yeah, we need to take care of this Mewtwo. And we got the Mega out. Just have to. I honestly didn't see what he used. Oh, it's because of my ability. I was like, why did he take damage? Um. Not that devastating, actually. I. I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna focus on some lady. Get a lot of damage off on both things out right now. And start setting up Diancy because Diancy needs it. We need the binnacle. We need bar the barnacle or something out. We can't do this. I don't think. Oh, we got the double colorless. I think he dies next turn. Actually, he definitely dies next turn. So, we win. I'm pretty sure. With 90 damage, that definitely kills. Right? Yeah. Cool. 7. Challenge finished. Oh, while this is doing this, I'm gonna go to the challenge. To 
seven and O. Oh. This is insane. I've never won this much in my life at anything. Don't think. And we get to choose a new daily daily challenge. And I don't have a water deck, mm. but it gives us a pack, so why not take it? We're close to the six hundred coins. So close. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I want to save my coins or if I want to go ahead and get a pack. Mm. It's still a couple more days until Celestial Storm. Might as well. Might as well buy a pack. Let's see, what should we get? Should we go for... Let's go for Roaring Skies. It's kind of like Celestial Storm. <laughs> has the same thing. It has the same mon on the front. I don't usually get roaring, roaring skies. Just kidding. I guess I've gotten a lot of them. Question mark. Because I have these. Developer. Terrible card. Mega Turbo. Okay. Hard. Not great. Um, shake it off is a good move if you're fighting against a normal deck. Seed bomb. It's easy to set up. 80 damage. 120 health. Good card. Ooh, high dragon ex. Dragon road. If there is any stadium card in play, the retreat cost of each of your dragon Pokemon in play is two cards or two energy less. Okay really specific but it'll do it's a basic it's good obviously because it's an EX and then shred um kind of difficult to set up because the different energy needs but 80 damage is good I mean for an EX I would say it's below average but I'll definitely take it Oh, let's keep this streak going. Let's see what we can get it up to. B Rad 821. Let's see if B Rad is the one to end the streak. Hopefully, not. Hopefully, we get another good start. That is an acceptable start. I'll definitely take it. I didn't see what kind of deck he has. I did miss that, so it's unfortunate, but I guess we'll learn pretty soon. Don't really get any much from that. He has a bunch of full arts and hollows, so that's means he's good. That's how you tell if someone's good or not. And I'm not gonna put that on this turn, but I will definitely put that on the bench whenever we need to. He starts with the Eevee, and we get to go second, so unless he attaches an energy to it this turn, it's dead. Yeah. It's... it's... Okay, it's just regular. It's not GX or EX. What did he just... Plus 40 health. Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. Definitely. Um, next turn, I'll be able to look for the Diancy. Hopefully it's not in my prize cards. We have a lot of energy. Might as well Scorched Earth. And we'll start setting up the Lucario. Because he can't do much damage to me at all. It'll take a lot of time for him to kill me. He has another one? Ah, oh, now he brings out the GX. Um. Plea GX can definitely be annoying, especially if I get this Zygarde set up. Huh. And I can't Pokemon Fan Club anymore. This might be it. 
There's a chance. I'm not saying it will be. I think it might be close. Hmm. I'm gonna scorch earth again. We got the switch, but I'm not gonna use that right now. I'm just gonna keep hopefully attacking. Hopefully it doesn't get rid of this energy again. He is loading up his bench. Is he going to put another Sylveon out? Ah, he went for the switch. Well, luckily, I have a switch that I can use. Unless I get a double colorless, then I would be able to set up Zygarde. But it's hard to tell. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. We did not. Mm. Kinda risky. But I'm gonna do it. Yeah, we didn't get the double colorless, but we did get the Riolu and Tierno. Ooh. He didn't get us another energy either. Um either way, I think we Attach an energy to Lucario and just switch back to Lucario. And corkscrew switch. We have the fisherman, so any energies we have discarded. Four we have four that we discarded, so we'll be able to get four back. Just mm, this might hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. So that did 110, even if we Pokemon Center Lady, that still kills us next turn. So the, yeah, I don't really like doing that. Um, I am going to Fisherman and get four of these energies back. Hmm. I'm considering doing that, and I should have Scorched Earth first. Okay, we got the Diancy that we can put out, so that helps some. Yeah, I should have Scorched Earth first, that would have been the smarter play. and he's going to bring out another Sylveon. It's another Sylveon GX. Same exact one, just different art. Mario's gone. I think we'll go out to Landorus right here. I think that's the right move. That way we can start set, help set up our Zygarde even more. Our bench is full, which scares me. Definitely scares me. But if we can get the kill with our Landorus, that'll be huge. And we have Bonnie. So, if we got the kill with our Landorus, and then retreated, used Verdict GX on his next GX that he brings out, it can't hurt us the next turn. And then we get an easy kill. Okay. You can do that if you want. It's actually really annoying. Because Girder has such a big retreat, such, such a high retreat cost. And we already used our switch. So, the only thing we can really do, I think, is wait for him to kill Girder. 
Now we just, yeah, we just play the waiting game. Which is annoying, but I don't, it's not worth it. I mean, worst case scenario. Oh, we actually don't have more questions. What's Wink Wink actually doing? He's just getting rid of all, his, all of our supporter cards that we get. He's just discarding energies and my supporter cards, but I don't have any, so. Oh well. I mean, we can switch him out into his Sylveon and hope that he kills with that. And then, I'm not really sure. I think, yeah, we just have to keep waiting. Even if he plead GXs right now, not that big of a deal because I mean if we're just waiting then why not those extra turns aren't that huge which he did do actually helps me I'm kind of glad he did that because now I can put Zygarde back on the bench and I can attach both of these numbers to him Yeah. He got rid of my Bonnie, which is annoying. And I don't really have a way to get it back, I don't think. Ah, uh, he did retreat. Why? If he wants to keep doing that, then he can keep using Magical Ribbon because he will run out of pitch way faster than I will. Man, this is... this game right here. Definitely a slow one. Can you just kill me, please? Darn. He has the Gardevoir GX. Playing the waiting game. Hmm. I don't want to do this yet, still. Um, I'm gonna put Landorus out and put the EXP share on him. I really don't want to, but I guess I have to start building up the girder because uh, there's no way that we're gonna take him out in, at this point. Or at least put one to hopefully make him kill the girder, make him think I'm starting to build it up. Oh, okay, there he goes. We 
got action. See, now I can use the Landorus to start attaching some energies. Now I'm going to crush a hammer and hope that he doesn't have another energy. And I'm going to put energy on you. We have plenty of energies in our discard pile, that's for sure. Oh my gosh. Thank you for not doing that. Okay, we got another energy. And I'm gonna start setting up the Lucario. And now our Zygarde is gonna be able to be fully set up. He's starting to get low on cards. Um, what is this? What can it do? Infinite Force can actually do a lot of damage to me that I don't want to take. And if he takes out Zygarde, then the game's over. Hmm. Might have a problem. I'm really hoping we don't. But I don't think if I thirty, sixty, ninety, one twenty one fifty. Yeah, I don't think he can kill me next turn if I lands wrath. Okay. I got two enemies. Uh oh. If he attaches another energy, then I'm dead. I think. Okay, so we do need to Pokemon Center. Yes, I got really concerned there that like I needed to play a different supporter card. But no, we do need to do that for sure. And I'm not sure why that tool has no effect. Hmm. I don't remember seeing anything, any reason as to why it would have no effect. But either way, we are going to Verdict GX. So he can't what is this. I don't know next turn. I think next turn, if there is a next turn, we switch into Babarical. Hmm. 
That's what we definitely have to do. Awesome. We needed that. Um, catch you. Or do we switch into Lucario and get... We wouldn't get the kill. We wouldn't get the kill either way. Because this has 130 health. I think we switch into the Babarkle. And we Claw Slash. Because even a Fairy Wind doesn't kill. Infinite Force wouldn't kill. One wouldn't kill, I should say. Um, this is gonna be close. If he wants to keep drawing cards, no. Yeah, that's just getting rid of my supporter. Might as well use this. Get the Zygarde. Lucario. I'm not going to put the Zygarde on the bench, just in case, but... Thirty, sixty, ninety... One twenty. I don't think you can kill me next turn. If I Claw Slash. He might be able to. No. Huh. So, I think I attach this, and then retreat into Barkle. Claw slash, I think kills, right? Yeah. Man, this is gonna be close. Hmm, because I don't know what we do. We might have to keep retreating. Because if we attack... 90, it would only do 110. That's not enough. So I think... thirty, sixty-nine. yeah. I don't want to go into Lucario. Because I think he would have a chance of killing that. I think what I do is go into Zygarde and attach this and retreat into him. A new Zygarde. And then Cell Connector. Um, no, I don't want to use you yet. Because I don't, I'm hoping he can't kill me this time. And if he doesn't, then he can't draw next turn, right? Is that how it works? Darn, he can draw next turn.
I think a Verdict GX, or I think a Saw Connector takes him out, because that's 70. Yeah. I'm gonna attach this energy just in case. But. Cool. Somehow, some way, it's happening. We got the 600 coins. Um, I'm definitely going to save those for Celestial Storm, I think. Um, it's 10:15, but we're on an Eight game win streak. Oh, I forgot. I was like, someone sent me something? But no. So, I think we just keep rolling along. Why not? Ooh, he has a grass deck. 90% sure this is where the streak ends. But I would be more than happy with eight in a row. If it ended at eight in a row, that's it. crazy. It's wild. Yeah, not a good start. Not a good start at all. Luckily, he has a mulligan too. So, oh look at that. We took another mulligan. Uh, he is taking his good old time. And I am taking another mulligan. Okay, this is a lot this is a lot better of a start. I am more than happy with this. Let's see what he started with. Hopefully it's something we can one shot. I don't remember who goes first. It's not something we can one shot. And it's super effective against me. Hmm. Giga Power one shots me. Guard press actually isn't that scary. I went first. Darn. I mean, not darn, but in this case, darn. Hmm. I don't see a point in trying to set up to Lamb's Wrath. I kind of want to, though. Hmm. Yeah, it might be dumb, but I'm going to do it. I'm also going to put this cast form, on, cast form on the bench. We don't have anything in our discard pile, which is unfortunate. Yeah, if we don't draw another energy this turn, then that was really stupid on my part. And we didn't draw another energy. Um. Actually. <laughs> I'm 95% sure we win. Because I can still in. Yeah. And attach an energy in Verdict GX. And he's done. anywhere close, but this is my longest one streak. More than double my longest one streak. 35 little exp whatever these are called in that. 
<laughs> cool. Nine and oh. Keep rolling on. We get to start with the Lucario. This came, which is good. He has the Xerneas. Sanctuary GX is good, but not as a lead. So... I don't know, this is gonna be a close matchup, just based on what we have so far. Oh, I'm really happy he didn't get that Crushing Hammer. That would've been... It would have really hurt. Overrun, I'm fine with. Diancy, thank you for that. Love Diancy. Such a good card. Because look, I mean, with that boost, then we should be able to kill him next turn. He just wanted and died. I don't know if I would have won that for sure, but I'll take it. I will definitely do that. Ten wins. Crazy. This is 100% not what I was expecting to do. Insane. Insane, I tell you. Okay, well. Just keep on keeping on. Would like to go first. Thank you. Um, yet again we start off with the Lucario. He's still choosing an active Pokemon. Taking his time, like the last guy. Gothita. Um, not really a problem. I wouldn't consider it a problem right now. Ah, and we get the Diancy again. Awesome. Awesome. So, unless he gets something on the bench, then the win streak goes to 11 in a row. What is this? He did get the Oranguru on the bench. Um, that's fine if he wants to do that. But unless he has a double colorless, he's not doing that. He's not confusing me, so... This isn't as good as the Ranguru. Usually resource management I thought was an ability. I don't know why he just did that. I feel like that was really stupid on his part. Because he's 100% dying this turn.
Yeah, he is, uh, he's in a lot of trouble. I think this is going to be the last game for tonight. I didn't want to make it go over an hour and a half. I didn't really expect to get on a 10 game win streak. But even if we win, stop at 11 and continue on tomorrow. Yeah. Well. That was an easy Those were those five packs. We're just saving up. Alright, well, I can officially change this to 11 and 0 for today. And slide it over a bit because I noticed it was not where it's supposed to be. There we go. And yeah, I think we're going to end it off there. Thank you for joining me. Um, yeah, check back in for whenever. We'll hopefully keep this one streak alive next time. But um, until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.